everyone, and welcome to the Showstopper Shows Must or Bust. This is the new cherry pie from McDonald's, cherry cream pie. Looks like a cell phone. Yo, what's up, bro? Um, and it looks like they decided to uh, let some cherry filling actually has come out of the pie a little bit. Guys, let's taste this and see if it's a must or a bust on a snow day. Here we go. You can see the cream right over here too. It's like a, it's like a Philly, it's like a cream cheese filling right over here. Wow, that's good. Mmm. Well, it's good and warm too, and it's a cold day. You can't see with the lights so bright, but it's actually snowing out here behind me. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna film this video. From the snow. We're in a Christmas hoodie. <laughs> well, that's good. Mm-hmm. So I know you guys like, if you go to McDonald's, you get the apple pie and you like those, they're warm, they're hot. This is, has that same crust, the same texture. It has little bits of sugar on the top, but then it has an excellent cherry flavor. It reminds me of like a hostess pie, but it doesn't have like all that extra uh, like sugar crusting and everything, but it's really good. It's got a great, great, great flavor. And I love that cream cheese filling there on the side as well. And it mixes, you see how they have some on this side and over here it's blended well and it tastes amazing. That is so good guys. I'm really, really liking this. A dollar was a dollar 29 at my local McDonald's. So if you want to get one, go grab it. And it wasn't even on the menu, I actually asked. And she's like, oh yeah, we have those. I'm like, okay, cool, give me one. So there you go. Guys, is this a must or a bust? This is a must. I recommend getting out and getting that and trying it out. It tastes great with a good hot cup of coffee on a nice cold day. All right, and a bonus for you. I'm sure you saw it in the title, but the Showberry decided to get a Happy Meal today. And she was like, you gotta get this. They have a sign, you can't order anything extra. Um, but this is what came in this Happy Meal for Pokemon. It's basically like a frame display and it tells you how to set it up on the back and it stands up just like this, uh, right there on your screen. It stands up as you can see and you put the cards and display them on your desk at school or at home, on your bookshelf. Um, you can put it on your dashboard. I don't recommend doing that because you've got to drive. But there you go. So let's open up the pack. I haven't seen it. It's brand new. This pack is new. I haven't even seen what is in here. Now, you guys out there were telling me on my last video, hey, thank you, Showberry. Mm -hmm. Hey, come here, Showberry. Jump in. So these guys were telling me on my last video what, man, it is coming down out there, big flakes. Um, they were telling me on the last video that like one of the cards was worth enough to pay for my Happy Meal. So I'm gonna show you guys what we have in here and you guys can out there in Showstopper land can tell me here in Muster Bus land <laughs> which one is the good card. Okay, so what we have here first is Trico. All right, that's the first guy we have right here. We have Pip Up, Pip Lup. <laughs> He's winking at us here. And I have Sobble. Check out Sobble. And then we have Rowlet. It's like an owl, but with an R in the front. <laughs> so if any of these are good cards, you guys let me know in the comments below. And just, yeah, I really think the Trico guy. It fits, like, it fits okay in here, but there you go. It's got the card and the little frame. So there you go. So that's the ones we have right here. And so that's a bonus. You get to see us unwrap a pack of some of the Pokemon cards that are really, really uh, popular. And this is what they come in, in the kids meal. And they even had a sign, a sign on the drive through window that says you can't get any of the Pokemon cards without actually ordering a kids meal. So if you want like 50 of these, you have to get 50 kids meals. So. All right, so hey, thanks to the show, Barry, for uh, handing these over to me, and thank you for watching the Showstopper Shows. Must or bust. If you guys are getting snow out there, wherever you are in your part of the world, let us know, too. You could be on the other side of the world or at the equator, and you're like, dude, it's 95. I wish I had a little snow. All right, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.